Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest V. Last time I made my way to the bonus dungeon, and I did a little tiny bit of level grinding, got David up to level 40, and that should be fine for my purposes here. I also moved Mason into the party. Um, he pretty much had all the same equipment that he has right now. You can look in the upper screen there, although I did have to buy him magic armor back in Lofty Peak. Everybody else is pretty much the same. I have Metal King swords all around for everyone. Um, I bought a Gringham Whip, like I said last time, for Deborah. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy that. In fact, you really don't need to go out of your way to get any of the Metal King stuff either. It's just nice to have, but it's really, completely not worth it. In fact, this entire bonus dungeon is really not worth it. I wouldn't, like, if you're, if you're playing this casually, don't do this. Don't go into this bonus dungeon. Don't fight the bonus boss. It is not worth it. All you get from it is a knickknack. You don't get like a second bonus dungeon. You don't get any kind of like added storyline or anything. It is completely not worth it. Here we get a rebirth stone. I believe that that just revives you if you die in battle. Another mini metal. Um, the thing about, like, uh, the thing about this place, like I said, is you just get knickknacks. Whoa! Hey! And we get some metal slimes here, too. Um, if you really want to try to go after these guys, you could change your party around, um, bring in these dudes, and let's see, we can have him attack there, and then we can give her the Hella Hammer. Have them go after the Liquid Metal Slime. You have a Poison Needle, that's fine. You have a poison needle as well. And then, again, go after the liquid metal slime. There will be a better opportunity to do grinding. In the final floor here, you can encounter some liquid metal slime, or liquid, what do they call them? I think they're just called Metal King slimes, as far as I'm concerned. And, ooh, we got them, sweet. And um, there you can get like 30,000 experience by defeating one of them, rather than the 10,000 thousand from the metal babble here. So that's up to you. I don't get a seat of agility. That's kind of nice. One more level with Mason here, my golem, and he'll gain the meditate ability, which allows him to pretty much self-heal, um, yikes, self-heal like 500 HP. So that could be pretty nice. Um, if you want to gain up levels for your golem there, that's completely up to you. Okay, here we have some more guys, the Bomb Boulders. Let's go after them first. Um, I just don't want them to explode and cast Sacrifice or anything else like that on me. That would be really bad. Like I was saying, this place, there's some nice stuff in here. It's kind of cool that they have it. It is just a carbon copy of the SNES um, original bonus dungeon. There's nothing new here. There's not a new DS bonus dungeon. Um... But it's not worth it. It's really, really not. I've got a shimmering shield. I'll have to uh, check that out. Awesome. Let's see what we got going on here. This. Oh, reduces damage from fire and ice-based attacks. Um, this is pretty nice for David. It looks like he's the only one who can really equip it. So yeah, let's go ahead and give it to him. Looks like that is some unique equipment for him. So that's pretty nice. And what did he get? He had a silver shield, which I believe nobody else can equip. Yeah, everybody already had silver shields, so I don't need to worry about that. The boss here is going to give you a knickknack. He's also going to unlock a TNT board. Um, the TNT board's prize is yet another knickknack. And the TNT board is ridiculous to go through. It is the absolute worst. Like, it can take... 10, 20, 30 tries to get through the TNT board. The TNT board is also completely not worth it, and I will not be doing it because it's ridiculous. The war drum, though, is rather nice. That's going to cast oomph on every single one of your party members, so that's pretty damn sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and give that one to Deborah, and let's move on. Should be another treasure over this way. What do we have? A hell saber. Yikes. Let's see what we got going on here with this. Oh, okay. Um, it's not as powerful as our Metal King swords, unfortunately, and it looks like only Mason can equip it. Um, or probably it's good for monsters or whatever. Okay, so let's get on out of 
here. Got anything else to say about this? Oh, well thanks. I guess she's talking about the golem here because I'm not in the lead. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. We gotta go around these little floorboard things. I don't want to fall in. If you do, you'll just fall back down to that swamp area that we were just in. So, making our way through here. Oh, also, there is another side quest that we'll be doing after this that's completely um, new to the DS version of the game, and it does not involve doing any kind of bonus dungeons or anything else like that. So I could have done that first, but it doesn't give you any kind of extra bonuses either. Here we have one of those, like, repeating floors, like the Lost Woods and Zelda or whatever, and you have to go through the correct path, and if you don't, the floor will repeat, and it's going to set you back to, um, to the beginning of this area. So you really don't want that, so just follow exactly what I'm doing here. There is a really nice map on... Wait, where... Oh, now I'm lost now. Uh, this way. Okay. There's a really nice map on game FAQs that you can use to get through this area. There we are. Pretty simple. Let's move on through here. I think I need to go this way. And then over through here, I think. Yeah, we got some treasure. But it's empty. There's a lot of empty treasure chests around here, so I'm probably not going to show off all the empty chests. There's no reason to. Let's see what we got here. Uh-oh. Yikes. We just had to get that mini metal there. And an elven elixir. Always very useful to have. I have way too many elven elixirs for my purposes, though. Oh, here we actually have a new enemy, the Bill Hall. I don't remember if we've seen these Mechano, Mechano worms or whatever. I don't know, but anyway, just take care of them the same way that you take care of everything else around here. Make sure that one of your women has the Sage of Stone. Either give it to Kringle or give it to Deborah. Give it to one of them. Um, because they're just not as useful as your other characters. Their attack power isn't up there. Otherwise, if you have, like, really nice monsters, like if you have, like, a Gigantus or something and you want to throw them into your party, then I would recommend giving the Sage of Stone to Ken. He actually becomes the worst character at that point. But I'm not going to worry about, you know, trying to get all these great monsters or whatever. Because, I mean... Uh, it's just not, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. Okay, let's see, moving right along. Go all the way due south um, from the left-hand path, and we'll find some treasure that isn't empty. A suit of Metal King armor. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see, Metal King armor. No special effects, but a lot of defensive power here. I could go ahead and give this to Mason, although the magic armor does reduce damage from magic. Um, but the thing is, everybody else already has nice stuff that has extra special effects. So I really don't think that the Metal King armor is all that good. I'm going to give it to Ward because he just doesn't have any other armor. So you might as well go ahead and stick it on him. That stair right there leads to a dead end, so don't worry about it. Right here, we have more empty treasure chests, so let's just move right along. Um, let's see, we'll use a safe passage. It, it doesn't matter if you get damage from the swamp, it's like 2 HP per step, but whatever. Here we have some death squads. Um, these guys can do all sorts of weird stuff to you, so it is nice that we can put them to sleep. They can do, like, strange jigs and stuff, and, um... Yeah, do this weird dance right here, which can make you dance. It can also make your MP reduce by a trivial amount. So, um, yeah, be, be wary of them if you're trying to keep your MP. Because we do have a boss fight coming up very soon. I was hoping for Mason to get, in, um, to get another level so that he could... Um, so that he can get that meditate ability. So this is the grouping that you want if you do want to level gain here. Um, oh, no, I didn't want to flee. I'm so stupid. Oh, well, they would have they would have fleed anyway. I wanted to change my party around and then put in the 
girl and putting the metal and putting the heel slime and all that stuff so that I could use um oh, today's not going my way but here we get a flail of destruction um this is the most powerful weapon in the game it attacks all enemies at one time um dealing massive damage but it can't critical hit so I don't think that it's necessary if you want to use it for grinding or something you can um, but honestly, the best way to grind is against those Metal King Slimes using Poison Needles, using Hella Hammers, using things like that, um, instead. So if you want to grind, do your grinding here. Um, just go up and down the stairs, use save states and all that to try to get, um, the correct encounter and all that. So yeah, we've made it all the way down to the bottom floor here. You're going to want to make sure that you have some Elven Elixirs on, uh, Ken also on King Gu, just in case. Make sure you got your Sage's Stone, you have your War Drum, all those things will come in very handy. Let me go ahead and transfer this over just so I can move it to a different spot. And um, I'm also going to go ahead and equip her with the Hella Hammer as well. Uh, let's see, we can move this. Yeah, I, I, I just want to, I just don't want to have to deal with this Kringle Whip right there, so I'm gonna move that there. Uh, Sage of Stone, got War Drum there, we got the Zenith and Shield. Uh, with all this, we should be A-OK. -okay. I think that I am ready, so let's go ahead and fight this guy. Who disturbs my slumber? It's S. Stark from Dragon Warrior 4. Yeah, so we have a little um, tie-in between the games here. Yeah, we'll just leave you in peace. Yeah, just fall asleep, it's fine. We don't want to bother you. Actually, we do want to bother you. Yes, I have come to destroy you. Uh-oh. Let us fight! Yikes! Whoa! For boss time! Against Estark himself! Okay, so first things first, let's see. Uh, let's put everybody actually on... Uh, where is it? Follow orders. And you attack, you... I really should have healed, shouldn't I have? Oh well, whatever. Let's go ahead and use an Insulate, and I want you to use the War Drum. It is imperative that you use this War Drum all the time to double everybody's attack power, and that you use Insulate to reduce the damage from his attacks, because it <laughs> can be pretty rough, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and change out her. We're gonna bring in King Gu. Let's see, you guys attack. Um, let's have you use, where is it? Um, not Kazapple, but Kazap. And you can go ahead and use your Kazing. Can you not Kazing somebody in the wagon? That really sucks. Okay, so let's go ahead and change out you for Deborah. And we'll have you go ahead and revive her. Yeah, that's 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 rough. That's really rough that he went after her. Yikes! Yeah, that's that sacrifice damage, but it doesn't do anything. That sucks too, man. Th this is not my day. <laughs> like this, this battle can be really, really, really hard, as you can see. Um. You get an extra bonus for defeating him within 15 rounds. The bonus, it's just, it, it, all it is, like, it's, it's nothing storyline related, it's nothing good. Like, it's literally just, um, let's see, let's use another Insulate, let's use another War Drum. It's just another, um, Knickknack. And again, who cares about Knickknacks? They don't do anything. It's completely worthless. So, I personally don't care about um, defeating him in a set number of rounds. It really does not make any difference to me whatsoever. We're getting pretty low on HP here. Let's bring in, let's change out you for you. Let's see, you three attack. Oh, you know what? Actually, I don't want you to attack. I want you to coup Kazap, and you use an Omni Heal. Oh, he's not affected by Kazap? Ooh, that really sucks. Oh well. So yeah, Kingu's Omni Heal will come in very handy. The nice thing about it, like you've seen, is that it actually heals people in the wagon as well. So Deborah got a full heal there. 
So it looks like physical attacks are definitely the way to go here. Let's go ahead and change him out. Bring back in Deborah. Have you three attack. And you go for your war drum. Yeah, getting that war drum is so nice. Okay, we're going to have to war drum again. We're also going to have to insulate again. I forgot to do that there. So there's nothing that we can do to reduce the damp. You know what? Yeah, you attack, you insulate. I need to use the war drum again. There we go. There's nothing that we can do to reduce the the magical damage that he does from like kaboom and stuff like that. In the next game, there is a um, a buff that you can use to to reduce damage from from that, but we don't have that. We don't have access to that in this game, unfortunately. Everybody's buffed. We're going to change you out, bring in you, and go again for another Omni Heal. We definitely need that. Yeah, Kingu is so fast, even without a Meteorite Bracer, he gets off that Omni Heal before Estark can attack. So I'm able to really um, utilize that quite nicely there. Okay, we're doing okay. Um, I could bring in Deborah for some extra damage, but I'm gonna go for another... Well, yeah, I'll go for another Omni Heal. Why not? I have three people dealing nice, nice damage here. We're all war drummed, we're insulated, so let's go ahead and keep our MP up. I have Elven Elixirs on Kingu, I have Elven Elixirs on Ken um, for access to multi-heal and things like that, so I should be fine. So this is pretty much the way the battle is going to go. If you need buffing, bring in Deborah for her war drum. You could use Deborah for her Sage of Stone, or you could go ahead and just put the war drum and the Sage of Stone on King Goo if you want to. But I don't think that that's all that necessary. So this is the way I'm going to be doing it. Right now, let's go ahead and change her out for just a little bit more damage here. Uh, do you have the... You do have the Hell's Hammer equipped, so we can go ahead and have her attack. Hopefully connect. Aw, man, I brought her in for nothing. Yikes. Please don't die, Ken. Please don't die. Damn it! Yeah. Looks like I have to bring King Goo back in. Let's see, change her out. Yeah, there's a lot of um, moving around that I have to do to to make sure that everybody survives this nicely. Okay, it got disrupted, so we need to bring in some more debuffs, or buffs, I should say. Um, at this point, let's change out David, bring in Deborah. You attack, you use your war drum, you use your insulate, you use your omni heal. Whew! Yeah, this, th this can be pretty rough. And honestly, the only way that you can really beat him in the 15 rounds for the, um, for the, for the knickknack, if you care about the knickknack, like, you have to get up to, like, level 60, level 65. Like, you really gotta get up there, um, in order to, to do that. So, for me... It's completely unnecessary. It's completely not worth it. I would spend hours doing that just to beat him in 15 rounds, just to get a knickknack, and then it's just completely unnecessary. Like, that's something... I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like the the rewards for the bonus dungeon in Dragon Quest IV were much more well done than the rewards here. How are we doing on... Let's go ahead and change out King Goo. We're at full HP. I don't remember if he debuffed me or not. Um, but we'll go ahead and attack with everybody. Oh. Oh, sweet! Awesome, got that critical hit in. But it does look like he disrupted wave to me. Because my attacks aren't dealing all that much damage. Yeah, he definitely disrupted wave to me and I completely forgot about it. Oh, well. Okay, change out you, bring in you, attack you, uh, war drum, you, insulate, you, omni heal. Try to, you, you have to try to play it defensively here. Um, if you just keep going all out, all out, all out, you're gonna be completely screwed. Um, so just 
make sure that you keep buffs up. Don't, don't do what I do and forget, but I have memory issues, so yeah, it is what it is. Um, we got everybody buffed. Let's go ahead and change out you. We can bring in you. There we go. We can do another war drum because David didn't get war drum last time, so that could help out. Yeah, it, 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 it's kind of strange what affects people in the wagon and what doesn't. It's like healing affects the wagon, but war drum doesn't. It's just kind of odd. Okay. I do need to heal up. Um, we'll bring in, yeah. Let's see, you Wardrum, you Insulate, you Omni Heal. And Omni Heal costs like, I think it's like 36 MP, so I might need to use an Elven Elixir sooner rather than later because you don't want to not have access to Omni Heal whenever you need it. Man, we keep on getting disrupted. This sucks. Oh, well, only Mason got attacked there, so that's kind of nice. Um, I could attack with you, then use a Wardrum. You can attack, and I can go ahead and have you insulate. Since he's in the party anyway, might as well have him insulate. That way, Ken can get in a little bit more damage. One thing that you could try to do, I don't know how effective the strategy would be, um, let's see, we'll have you attack, and you, Omni Heal. You could give everybody Mirror Armor. Mirror Armor has a chance of reflecting magic back to the caster, or back to the person. Um, if you did do that and gave everybody Mirror Armor, then things like Kafrizzle, Kaboom, could get reflected back to Estark and deal some extra damage to him. However, you wouldn't be able to heal with your um with your magic you would have to heal let's see we'll have you insulate and then you use an elven elixir on yourself just in case um you wouldn't be able to heal using omni heal or full heal or anything like that because you would have the chance of that reflecting as well so you would have to heal using your staff of salvation or your sage's stone um or things like that so i don't know how effective that strategy would be but it is something that you could try Let's go ahead and change you out, bring in David for some extra damage here. Yeah, everybody just attack. Did I get disrupted waved again and I completely forgot? I have issues. Like, I have massive memory issues. Yeah, I must have gotten disruptive waved. Oh well. Okay, let's see. You attack, you insulate, you... Hmm, yeah, you kazing. Uh, Ken might die. He might survive. I'm gonna hope that he survives. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. No! Okay, so Ken's down for the count. That sucks. Did I even get an insulate off? I think I did. Let's, uh, change her out. Bring in... Uh, we'll bring in Ward. That way you can multi-heal and you can kazing, and hopefully that multi-heal will make it so that nobody dies right now. Come on, Ward. Doinks! Oh, we should be fine. We, we should actually be fine there. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that wasn't half bad. Oh, I'm using people that I've never really used before. But again, you gotta keep up the punishment. If you don't keep up the punishment, then... Uh, you're gonna be completely screwed. You attack, you war drum, you attack, and you omni heal. Fighting him without a king cure slime is possible. However, I don't think that beating him within 15 rounds is possible without a king cure slime. But again, I don't care about that. Ooh, man, Deborah keeps on going down. That sucks. Um, you can kazing. Well, no, you attack and you kazing her. There we go. Okay, that wasn't half bad. Oh, uh, yeah, you can get some da- Well, let's go ahead and change her out and bring in David. Let's see, you three attack, you omni heal. I don't think that David is war drummed right now. 
but at least he has reliable damage, and Deborah's damage isn't reliable right now. Okay. Am I insulated? I don't think I'm insulated right now. Hmm. I should change that. Let's see. You on the heal? There we go. Yeah, I, 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 I can't keep up with what, with what buffs I've done, with what buffs I haven't done. Normally, whenever I do this on my own, I literally I write it down on a sheet of paper because I just I, I forget I have memory issues. Okay, bring in Tebra, you attack, you insulate, you Wardrum. If you want to, you could also kabuff, but I just don't think that that's necessary. He doesn't attack that often, and he disruptive waves so often that I wouldn't... Like, it's just not worth it. It's just completely not worth it. Okay, got the two buffs in that I wanted. Bring in King Goo. There we are. As, like, we're dealing roughly, what, 300 damage per round. We're getting in three good, solid hits per round, and that should be enough to... To do him in. Wow, David's attack power is really high. 160? That's really pretty good. Okay, your time for Deborah. Let's see. Insulate and Wardrum. There we go. It should. Like at this point, he should almost be dead. We should have almost gotten them by now. Um, Deborah, your time is up. Let's see. There we go. Like, he really shouldn't have that. I think he has, I want to say, 4,500 HP. And, uh, we should be almost there. I want to say he also has some sort of, um, like, HP restoration thing happening as well. Um, let's see, we'll bring in... You know, I could bring in you. You're not half bad for, as an attacker. He's not buffed, but... Ooh, 63. Yeah, I probably should have kept Deborah in, just in case. Because her ability to crit is probably better than... Better than that. Let's go ahead and change him out. Bring in Deborah. You guys go all out. There we go. Yes! 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 See what I mean? Yeah. Awesome. We got him. Yeah, now he gets the meditation ability. Now that I don't have to fight anything else. Yeah, 34 turns. The secret place of enjoyment. Folks. So yeah, if you defeat him in, in 15 turns, you get a knickknack. It's completely unnecessary. Knickknacks do nothing in this game. But we get a secret place of enjoyment. What's that? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest V. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.